going on guys welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to be doing things just a tad differently i'm going to be testing out some viral nail art designs that i've seen all throughout social media so on tiktok instagram you name it you guys know sometimes these little nail art hacks and nail art videos they might look good in these little 30 second 20 second videos but do they actually work that's what we're here to test out today to see if they work and to give you guys a little in-depth tutorial on how to actually execute it. So I picked three different nail art designs that I found on social media that I really want to recreate. And we're just gonna go ahead and try them out here all in one video. So if you're interested in that, make sure you keep on watching. And before we go on any further, I just wanna give you guys a big thank you for 100K subscribers. I couldn't do this without you guys. So um, of course, I have to do a huge giveaway. So giveaway coming really, really soon. I am working on something for you guys behind the scenes. So in my next YouTube video, I should be able to go ahead and announce the giveaway, what it's gonna be, what I'm gonna give away. And we recently hit 60K on Instagram. Like y'all are doing a darn thing. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for 60K on Instagram as well. And um, if you have not followed me on Instagram, make sure you go and follow me there. I do nail content throughout the week on Instagram and TikTok whenever I'm not posting here on YouTube on the weekend. So if you want to check me out on there, definitely do that. But let's go ahead and get into our post notification shout out. These are the first three people who commented on my last video. Thank you guys so much for having your post notifications turned on. And if you like a shout out just like these three people here, all you have to do is make sure your post notifications are turned on and make sure you are subscribed to the channel. That way you are notified each and every time I post and you can possibly be one of the first three people to comment on my videos and get a shout out. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with our first nail design is basically rainbow hearts so she's gonna take some powder some pigment powders and just go ahead and lay a whole bunch of different colors on a white base and then she just takes white gel polish and she's gonna make a whole bunch of hearts all around the nail along with some polka dots and she's gonna cure it and then after she cures it she wipes away the pigment powders and then we're left with this cute little rainbow heart design that I am so eager to try. So let's just go ahead and do it. Honestly, I've kind of tried this before and um, it didn't work. So I am eager to try it again. <laughs> okay, so here we have all of our materials, of course. Um, I have my little finger here that we're gonna go ahead and do the demonstration on. Um, I got this finger from Glamour Liz on Instagram. I love how it looks so super realistic. It literally looks like I cut somebody's finger off. <laughs> For the gel polish, I'm using Perfect White by Madame Glam. And then to do the hearts, I'm gonna use the this Detail Liner brush, the White Gel by McCart. And then of course we have all of our pigment powders here. Got these from Amazon. And then to actually apply the pigment powders, I have here a makeup brush. I got this out of the dollar store. And then of course, we're gonna need some UV light. So I'm gonna be using my UV nail lamp by McCart. This one is rechargeable. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this perfect white. We're gonna do one layer. And sometimes with white, well most of the times with white, we'll need to do two coats. So I'm probably gonna have to do another coat with this, which is fine with me. I can go ahead and cure that. And I cured that for about 30 seconds. Now we can go ahead and do our second coat. I just want to make sure we have some good coverage with this white. All right, that looks nice right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and cure this for maybe 10 seconds. Whenever I'm working with pigment powders, I like a sticky surface to work with, so I don't wanna cure it for too long. So let's try 10 seconds. So this is where things tend to get a little messy. I am going to just go ahead and open up. Let me just go ahead and open up all of these powders here. So I have my brush and I am going to try to distribute like some all over. So just little by little here and there. I really wanted to have like a nice little blend. I 
honestly don't know if I like the way I did these colors, but let's just see how it looks after we get finished with all of this. All right, so I have my white gel right there and we're gonna do a couple hearts. I'm gonna do it exactly how she did it. So I can see if we get similar results. Oh, that's so cute. Let's go ahead and do a couple more. there and then I'm gonna take my dotting tool and just go in with some little dots all around and I'm gonna try to get it like right on top of where there's multiple colors underneath I'm gonna go ahead and cure this and brace myself for this grand finale so I'm curing for about 30 seconds. I want to look and see what exactly did she use to wipe away the pigment powders. To me, it looks like alcohol, like swipe. This right here. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Okay, so I have right here my swipe. This is basically alcohol. It's a dehydrator. In the video, that bottle said dehydrator. Okay, I'm nervous. Let's just do it. Let's go ahead and wipe it down. Do we have something? Maybe? Some of it isn't coming off. But it looks like it's working. Like, ooh, scrub, scrub, scrub. Scrub, scrub, scrub. I probably, number one, should have did the hearts a little bigger and more closer together. But you can actually still see the different colors around, like outlining each heart and each dot. I want to say that this works, but I'm going to go ahead and put a top coat on top of this to seal the deal. I'm going to give this one a pass. I feel like overall it worked. I just kind of still had some of the pigment powder to stain a little bit of the white in the background, but hey, you can really see the outlines of the hearts and the dots and that's really what I wanted to see, honestly. So yeah, I'm gonna give this one a pass. So this next one is a heart as well. And it looks like she draws the heart and then she takes it and drags it out. And I'm guessing that's a top coat, I wanna say. I don't know, maybe a base coat. And she uses that to kind of drag that out before she cured it. And then after she cures that part, we're going over it with some ink. And we're gonna make a rainbow heart, okay. I don't know y'all, I'm nervous about this one. Let's try it. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna take this Perfect Black by Madame Glam, and that's gonna be our base color, of course. And black is very pigmented, so we should not have an issue with trying to do this with one coat. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cure that for a good 30 seconds. So my number one concern is what exactly did she use to kind of drag the heart out? I don't know if that was base coat, top coat, was it matte? Don't know, but I am going to use matte because I really don't think it matters, honestly, as long as it gets drug out. So let's do it. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna take the same white liner gel that we used before. And um, I wanna make sure I have a good bit of gel polish on this liner brush, but not at first. Let's just get this hard done first. So I'm going to do two points. 
and that's gonna be the center of my heart and then I'm just gonna kind of come around let's do it this way I probably should do it a little smaller than this I think I messed up or did I her heart wasn't perfect in the beginning so I honestly don't think it matters I kind of want a good bit of product on here so I can have enough to spread out okay so there's that this is some matte gel top coat I'm just gonna take it and just drag it out <gasps> and that's exactly how she had oh that's exactly how it looks Oh, I love it. Oh, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. Now I'm getting excited for real. Okay, let's drag that out a little bit more. Look at that and it doesn't have to be perfect remember because we're gonna go back and we are going to go back over that heart and I think that's good I like the way that looks right there so I'm gonna go ahead and cure that the way it is it's so crazy because this actually might look the way I need it to look for a change so I have a whole bunch of these marble inks that I got from Amazon and these are actual like nail polish I hope this will work in the same way let's start with this this looks like like a greenish yellowish color fingers crossed um i want to say that works to let this dry okay so after i let those inks dry i am going to go ahead and put a matte top coat on this and let it cure for about 10 15 seconds i'm not gonna lie these little ink colors are disappointing me a little bit because they're not as bright and vibrant as i need them to be but we're gonna let it rock we're gonna let it roll but this is how it looks right now let's go ahead and move on to the next step that that's done i am going to take this black liner gel this one is by kiara sky and we're going to go ahead and outline this heart so it can actually look like a heart <laughs> because right now it doesn't and i'm going to put two dots right here in the two corners to fill out that area of the heart and then i want to fill everything else in just like that it looks so cute so in the video she actually left it like that she did not cure it yet and then she took some black glitter which is what i'm gonna do i actually think it looks pretty good just like this but i'm gonna go ahead and dump some black glitter on top before i cure it this is just a cuticle pusher and i'm just gonna scoop some of that black glitter out and just dump it right on top of there on that wet gel and then we're gonna set it to cure Oof, you got a serious mess to take care of because look at this okay so i'm going to give this one a pass although i feel like i can do a lot better with this design i still feel like i followed her exact instructions and from that we got something that's a lot close to what she came up with so yeah it's a pass for me i do feel like with some better nail inks this would have turned out much better but yeah let's get on to the next one so this last design is 
um, a little bit more tedious than the other ones. I already tried it. <laughs> so I just tried it on my Instagram and I noticed that I did it wrong. I didn't do it exactly the way that she did it in the video and then I didn't notice it until I already actually did the design. So this is um, the design. This is the original design. I kind of want to do it exactly the way she did so I can get this exact effect. I got some making up to do definitely with this one. It might take me a little longer to do this one than it did the other two but let's go ahead and, and get started with it. So I'm going to be using all poly gel for this set. I don't think she used Use all poly gels I think she used some gel products but I am definitely into poly gel right now so that's what I'm going to use I have this clear poly gel by McCart and this is a nude poly gel it's called VIP also by McCart you can use my code at McCart to get a little bit of money off of your purchase McCart poly gel is always my favorite I'm all out of my slip solution by McCart so I am going to be using this Ohuhu Beauty slip solution it's just as good in my opinion so that's what I am going to use so first I'm going to start with this nude right here I'm gonna squeeze some out and I'm gonna start a little low right there tip my brush in some slip solution push the poly gel up and just pat it down into that nice little smile line we need for this French nail. Just going to shape it down into a nice little U shape. I think I like that. Go ahead and cure that for a solid 30 seconds. Let's go ahead and put that under there. All right, now honestly, we're about to get to the tedious part of it. So we gotta make sure that our smile line is nice and crisp. I'm gonna take my handy dandy swipe and just rub that down. Just so that the sticky surface is now not so sticky anymore. And then I'm gonna take my foul and just foul this little smile line. Okay, I think that is enough. So this next part might be fun to some and a little headache for others. I'm gonna do the same color that I did in my Instagram video. So in that video, I used this pink garnation. I think that's what it says um, from McCart. It's a liner gel. And then I'm just gonna use this to cover the whole bottom half of this French nail. <laughs> So make sure you get that smile line, the edges to complete the look and it can look a little messy. That's okay because we're going to file all of this off a little later. So I'm going to go ahead and cure that. 30 seconds there. So the last time I tried to do this, I used my bigger brush right here. But I think I need the smaller brush for this one. I think we'll get better results if I just use this one. So let's get our clear poly gel out. Let's put it right there. I really want the design that she had on the nail, but she had it to where it was kind of a little squiggly line. I don't know how to explain it. But she took her fingers and dipped it in the slip solution it looked like and she kind of pinched it. So I'm going to try to do that and see. Ooh, and it's already, it's already looking more like hers than before. And see how it looks squiggly? That's exactly what I want. Now, we're just gonna have to repeat that about 10 million times. <laughs> I think we're off to a great start. I'm gonna go ahead and cure that and then, like I said, do it another 10 million times <laughs> to complete it. 
going to take the pink gel, the same color that I laid before, and I'm just going to outline the sides of our little S here. Ooh, stripping. Here we go. Just going to outline it. And this is going to give it a nice little textured look once everything is filed. So I'm not covering the whole thing. I'm just outlining the sides. Go ahead and cure. I feel good. I feel good about it. Alright, that's what we're looking like. That's what it should have looked like. So I am, we're gonna continue that S and it really makes things 10 times easier because all I really have to do is go in the same direction as the S that I already have. I don't even have to take my fingers and try to pinch it or anything like that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cure that little S right there. Now, after I finish curing the poly gel, I'm going to go and do another layer of the gel polish and just do it along the edge and then cure that. And then it's basically going to be that same pattern until I fill up the whole bottom half of the nail. Now, it's going to look bulky and it's going to look a little crazy at times, but we're going to debulk and then it should give us that pretty finish that we saw in the video. So let's see. To start off our debulking process, we are going to use number one must have is going to be a dust collector. This dust collector is from McCart, it's a portable one. And then I'm going to use my McCart drill to go ahead and debulk. And I have a carbide bit right here that I'm going to use. This is my favorite tool my favorite drill bit to use when it comes to debulking um i'm gonna put my drill at a speed of three turn on my dust collector now this thing gets loud so i'm just gonna go ahead and drill now when it comes to debulking i wouldn't say i have a particular technique as to like how to get the nail back to its normal shape but one thing i do is i flip my nail over so it's upside down and usually when you have an upside down view of the nail you can see where it's bulking out on the sides and that's where i put like the majority of my focus on when it comes to debulking i mainly focus on what's hanging off of the sides once i flip my nail over and usually when i focus on that i can get the nail down to its normal shape rather quicker i don't know i just know i eyeball it and i mainly focus on debulking the sides of the nail and just getting off all of that extra product that does not belong there you can see right here i'm getting up under the nail and making sure there's no extra product underneath there and then once i get it down to a manageable size i bring out my hand file and i just go ahead and hand file the rest so normally when hand filing i file both of the sides of course one at a time <laughs> and then i go up underneath the nail to file that straight to make sure everything is nice and straight under there and then i file the free edge to straighten that out and i was getting it really really good here because i couldn't seem to get that straight on the first try <laughs> And then after that, I go ahead and round out the side. So I take my file and then I file downward on one side. And then on the other side, I'm going to take the file and file upward. And that kind of tucks the nail in so it's nice and slender. And then I just file in the middle. I go ahead and turn my nail to the side to see from a side view to make sure everything looks nice. And it kind of transitions well from the apex down to the free edge. And then all that's left to do is really buff out the nail and go ahead and put on a top coat. And listen, we are finally done. It took me 
longer than an hour to do this. But the nail on the left is the one that I did for Instagram a couple days ago. And then the one on the right is the one that I just did just now trying to mimic the one she did in the video. So as you can see, hers wasn't as squiggly as I made mine, but I will still say this is a pass because the technique worked out. I just have to do a better job in following directions for real. All right, so let's do a little recap. So this one, although it was a pass, I was slightly a little disappointed about how I did not get most of that pigment powder off. But overall, it pretty much looks the same. So yeah, pass for that one. And then we have our rainbow heart. This one also gets a pass. I feel like if I would do it again, it would look so much more cleaner and if i also actually get the right inks to use then yes this will look so much better and then lastly this last design was also a pass it does not look exactly the same as the original video but the technique works i can't be mad at that Okay, so that's everything. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know which design was your favorite design. Would you try it? Would you not? Let me know in the comments down below. My very next video will be the giveaway announcement. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And um, I will see you guys in my very next video. Bye guys.